some years ago, we created a female long row community to get more women in the sport, to support them, to promote them, and uh, it got to this point to fight for real gender equality and industry backing. This is the result of many years of hard work on making decisions in the right direction, focusing more on the up-growing female scene than on ourselves. Uh, we have having ambassadors in more than 55 countries, making videos to inspire girls to get into the sport, promoting the local and worldwide scene by doing events, promoting and supporting the small crews that were born worldwide. That's how we got to be the biggest female longboard community worldwide. This is what I do and this is where I come from and I believe that this is a path we need to follow not only in the board sport industry but uh, in, in life and society in general. So selfishness, egos and ambitions have taken over most of the companies in the board sports industries. Uh, the thing is that we claim that we're different and we're driven by another passion, a passion that many most bankers or lawyers don't understand. But the truth is that still so many companies in the board sports industries are driven by these little monsters. And by this, this doesn't mean that we doesn't have to make any money, we all need to make a living, but I'm just saying that there are different ways to do things and there are better ways uh, than others to do things. At the beginning, when we started to get big and we started to get more popular, a lot of people, a lot of companies and a lot of magazines and media started to approach us and that, at that point we needed to decide, okay, what do we want to do? Is this for us or this is for everyone? So we decided to make this for everyone because we believed that the important thing here was supporting females. It's, it, let me tell you, it was really easy to say, oh no, it's for us. Like we've created this, we work on this, we organize everything, let's just make it about us. But we decided that no, it's like to cut the cake like as many slices as we could. And of course not everyone is happy, but let me tell you that I work very hard every day to support every girl and woman. Um, Greatness is on the way you do things. Greatness is on how much love you put on things. Uh, by greatness, I mean doing things bigger than us, things that will influence positively on other people. Greatness can be from fighting human trafficking to supporting any kind of charity to raise your kids in love, with love, and teach them about actions and consequences and respect. That is greatness. Doing things that influence other people positively. Being the best you can be so that you, so that, that people can be the best there can be. Inspire people to be their best by you being the best you can be. So many ordinary people are doing extraordinary things and we all know these people. I'm gonna give you a few examples about extraordinary people that do extraordinary things in my world. So let me go to the Philippines after the Typhoon Haidan, I never know how to pronounce it. Uh, they decided to get together and every weekend they gather food and they gather like um, first aid kits and they, every weekend they go and deliver that to the people that need it. There's also this other girl, Lorenza Walker from Sweden, she wanted to do something and she just got together with a group of friends and created Borders for Hope which is a charity to and a non-profit association that they raise money and they are helping Long Rivers for Philippines. So Long Rivers for Peace is an association that brings um, love and peace through longboarding. And they operate in Israel, they operate in South America, in Canada, in the States, wherever it's needed. Uh, we actually do, uh, we collaborate with them as much as we can. We did an activity, we were last uh, year shooting our new movie in Israel, and we did an activity gathering Palestinian, Israeli, Muslim, and Jew kids through longboarding, because as we all know, uh, boards doesn't know about politics or religion, and we need to use that. Uh, my point here is find something that's needed to be done and get on it, like collaborate with a charity, volunteer, find the gap that's missing in your company and propose a change, be the change you want to be. I recently went through a very difficult month in my life where I lost all inspiration. This happened like a couple of months ago. I lost all inspiration. I couldn't find my way back. I was so lost and I kept, you know, like getting these emails about all these people telling them how I inspired but on the inside I just felt so lost. It was a really difficult time. So, so many people will tell you that you're insane, that what you're doing is crazy. People, uh, people are scared of people doing things differently. And let me tell you, fear is a little bitch. Because greatness comes to the thinkers and the changers, 
Greatness comes to the people that are not afraid to fight, to fight hard and to work hard, even if that means fighting alone. And so what I'm saying that these are not made up words, like I live and suffer each of these words, and I can tell you that the feeling you get when you stick to your God and you do what you believe, when it's not for you, when it's for a greater good, that feeling will blow away all the doubts and the fear. So stick to your God and fight hard. Because sometimes it will make you doubt on what you believe and of your work and what you do. If you're really working for a greater good, things will work out. Just keep working hard. I think us as women in the board sport industry, we have the responsibility to be that change we want to see. We have the responsibility to create real role models, not airbrushed uh, models we see on the magazines. Those people are not real. And we all know how amazing and how influential it is if we find a role model, how the, the impact this has on us. So let's, let's, let's become the role models we want to see. We don't have to be public figures. We just, as I said, we have to be good moms, we have to be good co-workers, we have to vibrate in love. And to all the companies that are here, support the female athletes. Choose the smart, choose the talented, uh, and not the pretty. We need to change this, because if we depend on what mainstream role models are giving to us, we are completely fucked, and we know it. So we are condemned to a very sick society. So let's work on change, because I believe we can do this. As I said, we have so much potential on inside us, like all of us, so much potential. Be the what the change you want to see. Thank you.